Hi, I'm Dr. Ellis Orozco, and thanks for listening to this video podcast. I hope you have a great weekend. Hi, and thanks for listening in. I wanted to talk this weekend a little bit about taking responsibility for your Christian life. As a pastor, I've heard thousands of excuses as to why someone um, stops going to church or stops being active in their Christian life, stops working with other Christians. Um, so I've, I've heard pretty much all the reasons and, and really excuses as to why people do that. But I think when Jesus talks to his disciples, one of the things he talks a lot about is taking responsibility for your own spiritual life, for your own spiritual growth, and for your own walk with God. There's this one scene in his life that really uh, screams uh, this idea of taking responsibility. And that's this moment when Jesus uh, feeds 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two small fish. It's a famous story. In fact, it's in all three of the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. So it was a very important kind of story. It was formative for the disciples who experienced it. And what I want to say is I think one of the driving themes of that story is this idea that you are responsible for God's work in your life and God's work in this world. One of the things that is sometimes missed is that uh, Matthew in his gospel shares that th this episode happened right after the incarceration and death of John the Baptist. And uh, this was a, a big moment for Jesus in his life because John the Baptist had been important to Jesus. And John the Baptist dies, and now it's time for Jesus to really take responsibility. And right after that moment when he finds out that John is dead, uh, he goes off on the boat to a lonely place to, to get away from everything, and the crowds follow him. And this is when this big thing happens where he feeds the 5,000. It's Jesus taking responsibility. So they're all there, and the disciples come to Jesus and say to him, look, send the crowds away because they're getting hungry, and there's too many of them for us to feed. And Jesus says, well, what do you mean there's too many? And they say, well, it would take a year's worth of wages to feed this one crowd. Uh, and, uh, and, and actually, if you read it very carefully, they weren't saying we don't have the money. They were saying, is this really the way we want to spend it? And Jesus says to them, he says, you feed them. You feed them. You take responsibility. He says, in fact, don't send them away. You feed them. And so then he, uh, he says, well, what do you have? And so they bring him uh, the five loaves of bread and two fish. Uh, it was the lunch that a little boy had packed. And Jesus takes that and he, he breaks the bread and he breaks apart the fish into 12 baskets. And he gives the 12 baskets to the disciples. And the disciples take those, those baskets, which each basket contains one twelfth of five loaves of bread and one twelfth of the two small fish. So each basket contains very little in it. And, and they go off and they start, they, Jesus tells them, feed the people with this. And they take the baskets and they start to feed them. And it's enough. It's, it's multiplied. And it's enough to feed all 5,000 of them. And when they bring the baskets back, they collect it all, the leftovers, and there's 12 baskets full of leftovers. So here's the thing I want you to see, is that the miracle actually happened in the hands of the disciples. Jesus broke apart the bread and split it up. He broke apart the fish, split it up. But the multiplication happened when the disciples obeyed Jesus on faith and started delivering the food. That's when the miracle happened. They took responsibility. Jesus said, you feed them. Don't send them away. Don't outsource uh, your ministry. You do it. You feed them. Jesus said, I'll bless you if you'll just take responsibility for your own life. I'll provide the resources you need. Don't worry about that. You just take responsibility for your own spiritual growth, for your own spiritual life, for your own spiritual service to the world. And Jesus says, and you're going to have more blessings than you know what to do with. So today, I just want to, I want to encourage you. Uh, as you go through this weekend, to look for opportunities to feed people uh, with Jesus. I want, I want you to take responsibility for your Christian life. Stop making excuses. 
push the excuses aside this weekend and go do the things that you know God has been wanting you to do. I hope that's been an encouragement to you. I hope you go out there and do it. God bless you and have a great weekend. Thank you.